Okay, you ask me my name. I don't have to fill out any paperwork. They're, they're going to they're gonna be with me in just a second. I don't have to fill out anything. Just a second. You don't want to talk to me, ma'am? She's trying to close the blinds, premeditating. I don't know them. But she knows me. She knows me. I told you. Someone has already, I just stated. How, what are people waiting on confessions? They don't know me, but she's already closed her blinds. She asked my name and she said someone will be with me in a minute. So the pattern is, is the police department comes and gives me a criminal trespass because they're enforcing my abuse. So they've already called and prearranged me to get bullied and violated. So they come because they're on the abuser's payroll. So they come with urgency and then there's a criminal trespass to enforce it that I stay in jeopardy. And uh, all they have to do is keep on saying that she's mentally ill so they don't rack up their felony charges that they've earned five years plus. Hit and runs, child interference with child custody, all kinds of other things, and nothing's been repetitively done. Felony after felony after felony. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, they asked that you better keep it there, huh? Why? Because you've been asked to. Why would and you? This, and this is not a, this is not a request. This is an order. Please, ma'am, come with us. We would like for you to escort out the building. Okay, so are you saying the government is enforcing that I stay in jeopardy and I get protected from my stalker? Every place I go, each location is best for me to vacate. I'm saying is outside the building. All that other stuff, I don't know. I can't, I can't explain But so that. you just, each location, the police well, come and enforce right that I leave. So let's go. Just outside the building. What you do after that point is your choice. I'm here trying to get a protection order and the police keep on every I, location. If they, if they I can help you. I'm pretty sure they would, but right well, now, I've been asked Any conspiracy to violate civil rights a crime, I want to know my rights. Because each time right. I try to get protected... Your right is you may be escorted Well, hold on. You're policing, okay. you protect and serve, right? Are you enforcing crimes? Because I don't understand why yeah, each time is. I try to get protected, you guys come yeah. and you come do on, this. Let's go. Let's go. Out the building. They come on, come breaking on. into my phone, hacking and premeditating my location and coming to bully me and making sure that I don't get treated like another. What's your badge numbers? What's your badge numbers? Why am I getting forced to leave the building? Why can't I be treated like any other woman trying to flee abuse? Why do law enforcement have to force that I stay in mine? I can only answer these questions. Ma'am, well, you've been asked to leave the building. Who has put you out the building? Why am I being asked to leave the building? Everything else I cannot respond to. Well, I, I want to be treated like any other woman fleeing abuse. You can get to the building. Any other thing I cannot answer? Can you come back to you after 70 seconds? Okay, I want to know my rights because someone is sabotaging my ability to flee abuse. Come on, let's go this so way. So you won't give me any education on my rights to flee abuse? Uh, you're more than welcome to go to the law library and research any information that you need. What's your position? You're more than welcome to go to the law library. What's your position? That you are more than welcome to go to the law library. Are you committing a crime right now? Any information that you need. Conspiracy to violate rights, is that criminal? To keep me from my right to be like other women and flee abuse without getting escorted out? If each time I try to flee abuse, even at church? So I catch the bus, and they are already prepared, on, waiting on me, wait. breaking into my wrong phone, racking up felonies. That's why they cover for it. The lady I already knew, so she closed the blinds. They already had her um, let her know that you need to call us when she gets here. Felony after felony unaddressed. They're not taking any reports. They have no reason to escort me out like they've been doing years. And what would have happened if I didn't have this channel to show this year after year? They handcuffed me and hauled me off. It included assaults and nothing has been done. How do you get assaulted at a domestic violence support group and nothing is done? And arrested. Hold on, hey, ma'am. Stay right here.
We gotta wait right here. They gotta give me a criminal trespass. Yes. Punishment. So to make sure I never come back. Close the door. They don't want any witnesses. What's your badge numbers? What is it? I can't see it. You don't want me to have it? I'm showing it to you. I'm letting you record it like you're doing everything else. I can't see it. Wilson and Parsley, what's your badge number? Right here. Do you need to record it? Well, that's not suspicious at, suspicious at all. That's these, this, these corrupt, this is corruption. This is why these places don't, won't help me, this right here. She immediately knew to close the blinds. She, someone had already told her, watch it, she records. She's not supposed to know me. Prearranged before I t touch the building. This is my bag. So why am I you giving me a criminal trespass? Hey, yo, me. Why are you giving me a criminal trespass? Why have police assaulted me and arrested me and still stayed free with no consequences for attending a domestic violence support group? Why did they give me a criminal trespass at safe, uh, one safe place? Why is Safe Haven not calling me back? Why have I like 30 places retracted on services or den either denied me of services, domestic violence locations? The abusing your power to have location after location keep uh, me in abuse in that corruption and uh, in that criminal? You're police. If you abuse your power to have uh, enforce abuse on a party, is that cr uh, criminal? Be showing your badge and guns and telling people to enforce abuse, is that criminal? Call us. Make sure she don't get the services, like what's been going on five years. How do you even know that I, each time I had a location, that I'm going to a location, how do you know? That's why I start recording it. It at least it stopped the assaults and the arrest. Man, what's going on? Man, the best advice I could always give anybody is this. Hire an attorney. That would be the best service. For you. I'm Deputy McGill. I, I have been um, trying to flee abuse and they, people have been tampering with evidence for a long time. I have a YouTube channel with the uh, corruption on it. And um, each location I'm going to trying to, each time I beg for help, they punish me with criminal trespasses. I already talked to Sergeant Hernandez reporting this. They have no right to try to keep me in jeopardy by issuing tr criminal trespasses at one safe place at each location that I beg for help. It's been going on years. I'm trying to get a protection order and the police keep interrupting it. They've been doing it for years. I was assaulted and arrested at New Beginnings in Garland. Police are in, in part of my uh, abuse and they keep on issuing out criminal trespasses and interrupting me trying to flee. Jason Gardner of Vivid Images, Baton Rouge, and police keep on interrupting me at every location I'm at just about. If they're not doing it behind the scenes, they're doing it like they're doing it right here. Does he live here? He, he lives in Baton Rouge. And each time uh, they make me leave pushing and shoving, they interrupt, give me criminal trespasses as punishment to keep me in jeopardy. So does he come here? Or he know, how, how does this keep on happening? No, what I'm asking is does he, he's, he's controlling the police department. Yes. I, I was assaulted and arrested at New Beginnings. But does he come here when you're trying to get the protective order? No, he's contacting people. He's powerful. And he's contacting people to have them do this. So his <laughs> he resides and stays in Baton Rouge? Is that where yes. everything happened at? So when you go to Baton Rouge, just where all this place Yeah, is. so since they're behind the, uh, what's going on, they enlist these people to call them to keep the corruption going because I talked to Ms. Robinson. Ms. Robinson didn't call me back or her supervisor. So since they're, they're behind these crimes, they have these locations call them so that we don't have to address the crimes that are being committed. Ms. Robinson said she was gonna call me back with her supervisor, she didn't. And a gang, an army full of locations never called me back. So when I come in person, these police departments say, you call us. And then they come remove me and give me a criminal trespass to enforce these crimes don't get, get resolved. Has anybody explained to you that in order for you to do the protective order in Baton Rouge, you actually have to do it in Baton Rouge? It's not in Baton Rouge. He's coming to uh, commute, commuting to Dallas to commit the crimes in Dallas. These crimes are happening in Dallas, or in well, in Texas, Fort Worth. He's, he's intercepted me getting help in Fort Worth. Okay. At every location, each avenue I take, my phone is broken into in Fort Worth. Okay. 
I tried to do two police reports in Fort Worth, they covered for it. I tried to get help at one safe place in Fort Worth and police interrupted that and then detained me out of malice when I stopped recording. So this is a pattern, I have 20 false arrests. 20 false arrests. I was assaulted and arrested at New Beginnings. They red lied and said I uh, assault, uh, assaulted something, someone at CPS. When they realized I was recording it, they changed it to uh, a criminal trespass. Okay, but what I'm trying to explain to you is because he resides in Baton Rouge and the offense occurred in Baton Rouge? No, the offense is occurring here right now. He's controlling the police department, having them come interrupt any help that I can get and not do, um, not do police reports. So and then code, give me criminal trespasses to enforce crimes. And you're saying that's what he's doing from Baton Rouge. Right. He's coming here. That's how I have all these false arrests during the 20s. So that's why I could record police because the, um, they were assaulting me and arresting me before I started recording them. Now they're giving me criminal trespasses at all these locations to enforce crimes they set up. They're enlisting these locations to deprive me of services. So to make sure I don't talk to the people and get to the bottom of it, they issue criminal trespasses. So nothing's done, and I'm stuck in the abuse like I've been for five years. So they're asking these people to give me criminal trespasses, but they're making it seem like these locations are giving me the criminal trespasses, but it's the police department, because they're setting up these places to treat me the way they've been treating me and deny, deprive me of services, which is against my constitutional rights. So where did, it, where did he initially, where was the initial, I'm trying to understand, well, the bottom line of it is, why are they asking me to leave without, why, why can't I be treated like other women and sit down and talk to an advocate? Yeah, honestly, uh, I can't answer that. Okay, well, well, let's find that out. Because each location out of all the domestic violence locations I've been to, which should be close to 30, they all have retracted on services or either denied it. Let's find that out, why all locations are depriving me of services. Let's find out why I got assaulted and arrested at New Beginnings. Let's find out why at New Beginnings, Plano, the police came until I started recording to interrupt me. Let's find out why police came to churches pushing and shoving me. Let's find out why marshals came to um, Frank Crowley pushing and shoving me there twice. So I'm just, I'm just curious, so when you walk in to ask for the protective order? Yes, the it's, they already premeditate my, my movement and then they're already there bullying me and make force me to leave. So when you get there, the police are already there. Yeah, you want my YouTube channel so you can look at it? No. You need it. No. Are you, you're, you do law enforcement, right? Yes, ma'am. You, why won't you, why won't, can't I get law enforcement? Well, you can ask for it. I'm here, reporting so it. Want, that's what I'm trying to figure out. But well, you get the YouTube also, channel so you can see it. You've also reported to me that he's in Baton Rouge. But the crimes are happening in Fort Worth and in but, Dallas. But you, what crimes do you want to talk about? Get the YouTube right? channel so you can look at it. YouTube channel, I'm you, asking uh, tamper with evidence uh, is a felony, and my YouTube channel is evidence. Your that's YouTube, a felony crime. He's, he's been tampering with your YouTube channel? I'm, uh, I'm telling you that tampering with evidence is a felony crime, and I'm giving my, you evidence my YouTube channel, and you're depriving me of the right to give it to you. So you have evidence. No, ma'am, I'm not depriving you. Okay, well, take like the YouTube channel. It's evidence. It's sufficient evidence. Okay. What did he do to the YouTube channel? I told you about the false arrest. What's your name? My name is Deputy McGill. And your badge yeah. number? 9262. Okay. Look at the YouTube channel. Okay. Then you can call me back, set it a sit, get an investigator. So, so we can figure out why police always are interrupting me getting services to escape abuse. But what exactly did he do though? I understand you're saying abuse, but you haven't told me what he's done. Okay. April 28, 2018. Okay. Um, I had ended an online relationship with him. Okay. Shortly after there, police lied and said I saw them and evaded arrest. Okay. I did not. It was a blatant lie. Was that, where was that? That was in Atasca. My daughter witnessed it um, screaming and uh, uh, terrified okay. um, and screaming in terror. Okay. Ever since then, the 255th District Court has been lying and a multitude of other conspirators lying to keep me away from my daughter. I can't talk to her on the phone. I can't see her, text her, or nothing. The court is behind a lot of corruption and a multitude of other CPS worker, teacher, and a whole bunch of other parties. When they got caught in the corruption, they disappeared. Okay. No one will investigate it. They did it with my son, too. I was a legal custodial parent to my son, and police law enforcement would not uh, enforce the custody agreement. So I could not have access. I did not have access to my son. I went to the school to withdraw him. Police came, interrupted that, and gave me a criminal trespass. That's what they keep doing. This is how they deal with their corruption and their crimes, issuing out criminal trespasses. They've been doing it for years. So in 2018 and in Tasker, 
Yes. It was when this occurred. Yes. So then I, I still haven't forgot about my daughter. She's still my child. Okay. And I'm trying to get help to get see, get access to my child. So fast forward, each location I go to to try to get help, police come, interrupt with criminal trespasses. They entice location to location to deprive me of services. It, uh, each location that is going to help, they deprive, um, they retract. They lie about services they offer. They use bullying, intimidation, and all kinds of things to keep me in it. I miss my kids. I, and I had my own apartment, I had my own cars. Out of this situation, two cars was taken, uh, two places I lived was taken along with everything that I had, furniture, um, a lot of nice furniture I lost in the first arrest, and then I lost furniture in the second arrest. Um, well, no, I, there's like 20, but I've lost furniture as well as places that I lived, and like I said, cars. Um, there was an eviction because of this, $7,000 owed in an eviction. They left me in jail with time served, wouldn't let me have rec, shower, and all kind of other civil rights violations in jail that I reported, but not as, I don't know if it's being investigated. So there's a lot going on. Okay. Yeah, so, it sounds like I should put this one. Yeah, but what I'm worried about is. I'm down if there's something that I can help you with, is what I'm trying to narrow down. Well, what I, I, what I want to know is why each place I go, the police department is interrupting me being safe and getting advocacy at church, at New Beginnings, in Plano, and all over the place. This is why I can't get help. If I can get corrupt police out the way, perhaps I can get something done. I think corrupt police are behind why I can't get services. So, I think people are abusing their power and they're enticing these locations to keep me from services. And there's something wrong with my phone. I have it recorded on the YouTube channel. My phone shuts off in emergencies and it um, stops working. And it, uh, AT&T said it out their own mouth that I kept coming in because my phone would malfunction. I haven't got critical calls that were important, a multitude of them. I've been calling all over the United States and 95% of my calls aren't returned. Like, um, they didn't return my calls. The supervisor didn't return my calls. Safe Haven didn't return my calls. Her supervisor, Joanna, family, um, family place haven't returned my calls. I mean, 95%, I call all the time. 211 didn't return my calls about stolen food stamps, and then some other things that went on that was unusual. I applied for food stamps again, I'm homeless. Right. Okay, so this, the, each time I'm applying for food stamps, there's like something going on, a glitch. Okay, so this time I applied, and they said that I did not qualify for the food stamps because I didn't do a job search. In my application process, I did, not I did not get the food stamps. You do job searches when you get food stamps. So in my application process, they um, said that I was sanctioned because I did not uh, do the job search. Well, you can only be sanctioned if you have food stamps. You can't be sanctioned in the application process. So they were supposed to be calling me back so I can report that and the stolen food stamps. They didn't call me back for that, but they fixed it anyway. But this is a history of uh, health and human services um, and glitches in the system keeping me from food stamps. I also had identity theft in my account, $2,000. And my, my stalker admitted to doing it, but the police report department wouldn't take the report. They threatened to take me to jail in police headquarters for doing the report I haven't reported. Well, I don't. I have it recorded where I told um, an investigator. Right. What but city was that? That was in Dallas. Was uh, he in admitted Dallas. to doing. Um, he admitted to you know on a uh, fake page that taking the money out of my account. I don't know how he did it. How he had access to do things like this, but he admitted it. And the police department would not take the report and threatened to take me to jail in police headquarters. Did Six he, armed police. Did you capture him on video admitting it, or did you just? It was in the. I can't get law enforcement to investigate any of this. He admitted it. It was on Facebook. You come, so you actually have a record on Facebook? Yeah, but he had a whole, he communicated to me really weird on a whole bunch of fake pages. And I showed a, um, a task of police officer the fake pages. Yeah. And when it got incriminating, I did not know that he was controlling the police department. And the police officer left. Because it was evidence that he was monitoring me in my home. That there were um, um, voyeurism crimes. I didn't know how to search for him. I asked the police to search for him. They wouldn't. I didn't know that he was controlling the police department. So I had to live in a home where I thought there were, there were voyeurism crimes going on. He, he saw the, in the communication that I said, are you watching me? And he heard, um, you could see that he was monitoring what I was saying because he, it was a long story, but it was in the uh, documentation that I showed the police department. Okay. And he left during the middle of it. They wouldn't um, investigate any of the reports I was giving them. But if anybody were to look at the body cam footage, you can see from those um, um, emails or the um, Facebook pages 
those pages, you can see that somebody was knowing too much about what was going on and I did ask him point blank, are you watching me on one of those YouTube pages? I'm kind of, I'm sorry, I kind of distraught. I mean, going through this year after year, I just want to be like a normal woman and flee abuse, have advocacy, not have people bully me, give me criminal trespasses, to sabotage my life over and over and get away with it year after year and nothing's done. Punish me year after year with a criminal trespass to keep me in abuse. Okay, hang on just a minute, okay? Set me up and nothing's done. This is Mrs. Clark. Mrs. Clark. Okay, Mrs. Clark, the way I'm understanding it, the way my partner's explaining it. So they're they have you they have an open investigation on your protective order. But they're still investigating. So that's still ongoing. And if you want to leave a number, we can leave your number with them so they can get in contact with you to see let you know how it's progressing but you can't come up in the building and start a disturbance. I understand what you're going through, and I understand how different I didn't this create is. a disturbance, that's slander, like the other lady said that I was fighting her. Okay. Did, did you check the body cam footage? Did you check the cameras in there? Ms. Clark, you have a phone number? Okay. Did you check the cameras in there? I haven't gone Check the cameras, because I've been getting slandered like this for years. Another lady said that I assaulted her. Okay. I was trying to fight her. Okay. So well, I've been getting slandered. I've already told you that I keep getting lied on, that's okay. why. Well, how we're gonna handle it today is because it's their request. And a CTW is not an arrest. What it is, is if you're not here on official business, you won't be able to come in the building. My recommendation is that you wait and have them contact you to let you know how the protective order is going. And if they need you to come in for anything, they can contact you and have them come in. They haven't been returning my calls. The supervisor hasn't returned my calls, and Ms. Robinson hasn't been returning my calls. Yeah. Joanna at Safe Heaven hasn't yeah, returned my call. Her supervisor hasn't been returning my calls okay. for five you're years. Ninety-five percent of my calls have been returned. Off of you told me how big this investigation is. You understand it's going to take a time for us to gather all this stuff. It can take a little bit. I mean, you're talking back from 2018. That's a lot of time. Yeah, That's it's a been lot a lot of. Uh, so corruption. You, so you have to give an individual time if you're constantly calling them and they're stopping what we're doing and then we have to engage with you and I understandably I mean it's upsetting for you but then I they have to stop what they're doing and now we delayed the investigation even further. That's not what I was told communicated but I'm glad that they're treating me like a normal woman that's fleeing abuse right. but they're still not I'm not getting any you're education any, that's any that's education any advocacy. Okay, well, what they're arrest right there, she's going to be a criminal trespass warning, okay? And why am I giving the today? criminal trespass warning? Because I've been getting them for five years out of corruption. Okay, you you can sign here. As a I, I, you, are you giving me a criminal trespass yes, warning you, for no reason? You're going to be receiving a criminal trespass warning for what happened today. What they're, happened? They're requesting you. What happened? Getting CTW from this building. What happened? There were, you were being, you were being, you had a cause of disturbance upstairs. I, you, am I being slammed? Remember, I wasn't there, ma'am. Did you check the camera remember, footage? Because I, I just said that this is part so, of my abuse. You, you can sign here. They or did I can, it. I, I can do it. They okay? did it. They had these people do this like they've been Thank getting you, away with years. So this is my recommendation, Ms. Clark. Instead of coming They're lying. here they and did it. getting into an argument with anybody, what I would I didn't get into an argument. argument. She immediately closed the blinds. She okay. said that somebody, did you check, why don't you check the, here, let's solve this. Because okay. this is part of my abuse. I get slandered and lied on. Like I just told you, the lady at CPS lied and said I hit her. That's pretty extreme that I was trying to fight her. Right. That is extreme. That's assault. Right. I had to record them because that would, be, it would have been assault on my record if I would not have recorded her. Right. So when they found out I was recording, she said, no, I didn't assault her. And then okay. they changed it to a criminal trespass, like this, okay. like this right here, like well, you guys did. Like, like so said, did you check the camera footage? What this is, what this is, like I explained to you. Did you check the camera footage? No, ma'am. Because I'm telling you that people, this is a pattern, a history of a behavior that I've had to deal with for years. Okay, and I, and I understand it like I've They slander me to cover with concealed crimes and say that I'm doing things that I didn't. Even on a YouTube channel that I have in the comments, a lot of slander by people that I don't even know. Right. Uh, well, I, that's why I said that. That a proper investigation will show all that. So why don't you look at the camera footage? She immediately closed the blinds, knew who I was immediately. Right. Asked me my name, immediately closed the blinds, you, and then called the police. Have you been there before? I've had to do this. No. no they, 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 I already told, admitted, I told them on my YouTube channel that we're already going to premeditate my entrance here like they've been doing for five years. I know that it's happened five years. 
so. just like they knew I was going to come to the um, support group, assaulted and arrested me in Garland, got away with it, still no consequences. Right. Well, My daughter was screaming in terror, thinking that police actually abided by the law and didn't arrest people for profit. Well, this is, this is my recommendation. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. What I would do is instead of calling all the time. I don't call all the time. I'm just saying, okay, well. They didn't, that's not, she didn't tell me that. She told me something different. I didn't even know that there was an investigation. She didn't tell me that. Well, that, like I said, we, we walked, my partner walked up and talked to him. So what we're going to do is instead of you coming back here and calling, you wait for them to call you and give them an opportunity to do an investigation. They should get in contact. You're police. Why don't you investigate why I can't get help in a domestic violence organization? Well, why I can't get advocacy? That's what I why I keep getting all these criminal trespasses all over the place trying to get help all in Dallas, like 30 locations blacklisted me from help. Okay. I want to be educated on domestic violence and how to escape this and my rights. Well, that's what I've just explained to you. There's an investigation ongoing. No, I want to be educated on my rights like other women fleeing. I want to be able to get help and get education and get advocacy you are getting help no that she's there's, she, a, there's that, an ongoing investigation you won't tell me advocates won't tell me they won't give me case management i want to know why i'm blacklisted from all case management and advocacy i don't know why you're a police I find out I don't even, yeah well so, do an investigation give me take the youtube channel tamper with evidence is a well, felony on that card on that thing that they just gave you my what's your name service number i gave it to you you, you can give it to you twice now I'm sorry? I've given you my name twice. Okay, so, I'm sorry. Uh, what I meant was your badge. Um, I'll give you that too. Okay, yeah. so let's do it this way. Why don't you give me a report number? It's, that's what I was going to tell you. It's on yes. there. You it's gave me the number. criminal trespass. I well, want a report a number. Service number on there. Service number. No, I want an investigation. I want an investigation. That'll be all part of it. That's what I'm talking about. So you're going to investigate so what I'm telling you. So this service number right here on this form. That's a service number. That's so a, you're that's going to investigate a, a, a why I'm blacklisted from all uh, domestic violence help yeah, and advocacy. That's, that's they, what's they have their own investigators up there doing that. The DA's office has their own investigators. And that's why I've tried to explain to you. If you come in and you cause everybody to stop. Uh, that's, you, I can't sir, there's no need for slandering me, sir. I don't appreciate you slandering me. Okay. That's not what happened. Okay. She premeditated my interest yeah. and closed the blind. Don't, don't be Someone told here. her, watch it, I she record. Go ahead, sir. Facts, please. I'm recording because I'm ready for people to wreck up the felonies they've earned. Okay. This well, has went on long enough. Like I've explained to you, if you're back here on official business, you're okay. I well, why don't I want you to investigate why people premeditate my entrance? There's nobody premeditating. She did. She closed the blinds. Well, uh, we will. I'll go back up there and I'll talk to her. Yeah, look at the you. look at the camera footage. Don't but, they have cameras up there? No, not in that outfit. I, we didn't have a disagreement. That's a blatant lie. Just well, like the CPS worker lied and said I, I tried to fight her. I will go personally. I will ask her what happened. Look, right? No, just look at the camera footage so we can have okay. a track no, history of I, the I liars. Twice now. There's no cameras on there. Oh. No well, I recorded it because okay. I keep getting lied on. I right. recorded it. Okay. Well, so That's why I record. What? So look at the YouTube channel. Okay. That's evidence. Okay. Well, what I'm going to You have don't have a body cam? No, ma'am. Oh, uh, well, I don't know why all the people I talk to that are committing crimes don't have body cams on. I've committed no crime to you, ma'am. So, all these people that um, give me criminal trespasses out of corruption never have body cams on. Body so cams are vital when people talk to me. I'm going to step inside and I'm going to go ask them upstairs. You okay. can look at it on my YouTube channel, Kiana okay. Clark Peace. Okay. K-E-Y-A-N-A -A Clark, C-L-A-R-K, Peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. But the only thing that I would recommend is you got to give them an opportunity to conduct Yeah, but I don't want people lying on me, having a free pass to continue to lie on me like they've been doing. Okay. Getting away with it year after year. So, based off what you told everybody, like I told you, they've got an investigation going. So if you don't give them the opportunity to investigate. She just lied on me and said I was creating a disturbance. We're deflecting. She's not the one that does the investigation. Well, I, just like the lady that lied and said I tried, a hit her, was trying to fight her, that's serious. Okay. Well, you understand what I told you. Yeah, I just okay. want the feds to intervene and somebody to get the consequences and charges okay. they've wrecked up. All right. You have a nice day. You too. They, normally they have assault and arrest. No, it's not a joke. There has been assaults and arrests.